Let's talk a little bit now about how to configure Sextant. If you open the toolbox, you will see a button here in the lower right part. And if you click on it, you will go to the settings window. The setting window contains several different blocks that you can see here on the left hand side. And as you click on them, you will see different parameters. Now we're just going to talk about the first one, general which contains a couple of settings that affect how the toolbox behaves and how the algorithms are executed. First thing that you see are two checkboxes, modify output names and use internal names for output. Whenever you execute a Sextanti algorithm and it generates a layer or a table, it puts a name to that layer or table. In some languages, that name might contain characters that are not very good in case you want to use that layer or table in another algorithm like for example the raster calculator. Those characters such as blank spaces or accents should be removed. If you check the modify output names checkbox, Sextante will automatically remove all those uh, inappropriate char characters and replace them with ones that do not cause any problems. The use internal names for output is a checkbox that if you check it will guarantee that the output always have the same name, no matter the language you use, no matter the input layer that you use. In some cases, when you execute an algorithm, the name of the output depends on the name of the input layer. In all cases, it depends also from the language you are working with. If you want to create a script to work with a common line interface in Sextante, it's better to know the name in advance. It's better to know that the name that you are using in your script is always going to be the name of the layer you're using. So if you write a script and then you try to run that script in another Sextante, which is uh, running in a different language, you might have problems. So if you check this checkbox, use internal names for output, Sextante is going to use an internal name, which is always written in English, which does not contain any uh, character like the ones I mentioned before, like blank spaces or like accents. And it's going to use that no matter which language you're working on or the name of the input or any other parameter that you might change in the, in the algorithm to execute it. Then we have this text box here. Is the default no data value for raster layers. This is a default value, but if you want to use any other one, you can just type it in here and the default value for no data values in raster layers will be that one. In the text box, sorry, in the toolbox, there's a recently used branch in here. In case you don't want it to appear, just uncheck this and you will not see this recently used branch in the toolbox and also in the modeler. You will not see it anywhere. And the last thing we have is the configure algorithm groups. Here in the toolbox, algorithms are grouped and you can change those groupings. You can rearrange, reorganize the algorithms. To do so, you can click on this button. You will see this new window here. Here are all the algorithms. This is the common line name of the algorithm, the name that identifies the algorithm, the group and the subgroup and also if you want to show it or not. So in case you want to make some algorithm get out of the uh, toolbox, in, in case you want to get rid of some of them, you can just uncheck this and you will not see the algorithm in the toolbox. Also, you can edit any of these columns, the algorithm group and the algorithm subgroup. Just type a different name here and then it will change in the toolbox and you will not see the algorithm in the default group but in the one that you have just entered. In case you want to go back to the default configuration, the default arrangement of the algorithms, simply press on restore default.